country superstar Lynn Anderson and Katie Moffitt, a rising new star on the country music scene, are the first artists signed to Permian Records. Lynn has just recorded her first album for Permian. founder and president of Permian Records. A successful businessman and a professional musician in his own right, Chuck has created an environment where the kind of one-to-one -one relationships between the artists and staff that was the foundation of country music can be realized once again. In a wide-ranging conversation with Chuck and Lynn Anderson, we discovered how the Permian philosophy developed. Lynn Anderson and Katie Moffat are both in agreement with the fundamental concept of Permian Records, that the commitment to excellence must be shared by everyone in the organization. Chuck Robinson has assembled a staff of talented and experienced executives who share his vision. And if I were to try to focus on a word that would describe the Permian philosophy, it would be integrity. Permian Records is artist-oriented. We look at the artist as the nucleus around which revolves every effort, management, booking, publishing, promotion, distribution, and unless all those spokes are in place and supporting the central focus, the artist, then, then we think that we have failed and will continue to fail. Another goal that we have had in dealing with the major entertainment centers in Nashville, New York, and Los Angeles is to try to focus the best and the brightest in our staff. Working with Chuck from the beginning to make Permian a reality is Vice President Jim Metters. Jim Metter's solid business background has proved instrumental in the organization of Permian Records. Jim is responsible for Permian's financial affairs and implementing Permian's master plan of operations. Gerald Margolis is the executive vice president of business and legal affairs and the director of Permian Records. He is one of the foremost entertainment lawyers in the business and an acknowledged leader in the record industry. The philosophy that Chuck Robinson and I share is that it all starts with good music. The idea of Permian Records is a few very good people doing the job that is so often done in other companies by very many, but to service good music performed by great artists and produced by great producers. And that's what Permian Records, we hope, is all about, and that's what we hope will make Permian Records succeed. I think that the public is going to, uh, to, to very favorably respond to what Lynn is doing. She is and has been a superstar. She is a person uh, in whom the public has demonstrated an interest. And Lynn has always been an innovator. And I think that uh, the music that she's doing now, the album that she's recording, is very much in keeping with uh, the idea that she is an innovator and with really fine music. The best time to go and attack a business is when it's down. There's plenty of opportunity then for people of energy, for people of vision, and people of commitment. And I think it is probably safe to say that that's the kind of person that Chuck has tried to surround himself with, the professionals who work in the key areas of the company in promotion, in marketing, in A&R, are, to my judgment, uh, among the best available at their jobs. Paula Stringer, one of the top 200 corporate women in America, serves as an advisory director on the Permian board. Ron Williams is a prominent Dallas lawyer and member of the Permian Board of Directors. Integrity to me, when it involves or when you're defining it in light of Chuck, really means that a person was willing to risk his own personal assets with an idea before he went out and attempted to raise risk capital from investors. That he has made certain commitments, that he followed through with those commitments, that he indicated he would sign a major star. He signed a major star. He indicated that he would be doing certain things and he would be doing it personally. He has done that. I've seen that. He's attracted fine professional help, such as Jerry Margolis. And when you add all that up with the staff, with his ideas, with his follow through, and I think that is what I consider to be business integrity. 
Joe Patrone, Permian's Vice President of Sales and Marketing. Joe has held national and international marketing positions in the record industry. His expertise adds a depth of experience to Permian's marketing efforts. 16 years in marketing and promotion has given Ed Spacek a complete knowledge of all formats of record promotion. The Spacek company will be assisting Permian in the broad area of record promotion. On the day we visited Permian Records, PM Magazine was preparing a story for national broadcast on the label and the release of Lynn's first single. Ben Weaver, world-famous news magazine photographer, was shooting stills for an upcoming article on Permian. Now, Chuck, you have to smile a lot. You don't want Lynn to make you look too bad here. PR director okay, well, Jolene Mercer has garnered national press coverage for the label and its artists. Listen, I have just got new Permian Records... Um, as proud as Texas logo, and I'm gonna send it to you. I would like for Carter to go ahead and use it on about the fifth page, if that's okay. And I have picked up Katie's slides, okay? And they really look fantastic. I just can't believe it. It's a whole new Katie Moffat look. And It is as Texas as Tumbleweed. She started singing before she could talk. The honesty in Katie's voice is the essence of what country music is all about. Katie's music tells a story you can believe. to me is one of the best singers in the business. It is with the Katie Moffats that we expect to gain the reputation for having the ability to take talent and create stardom, if you will, where it's not happened before. I think that's the test. In our search for the best and the brightest in all areas of the business, one of our largest concerns and goals was to affiliate in the areas of distribution with someone who shared our philosophies. We feel like we've been very successful in affiliating with MCA Distributing Corporation, the largest entity of its kind in the world. And when I got to looking, there is such an excitement in Dallas and the community as a whole. The whole community is, is behind the idea that Dallas will be the next entertainment center. The Dallas Communications Complex at Las Colinas is a multi-million dollar commitment to bringing the entertainment business to Texas. Its state-of-the-art sound stages and support facilities are fully equipped to provide all the necessary services for feature films, television, and video productions, as well as sound recording. I'm excited about being in the record industry because I think this is the time and the place with the state of the industry that a small independent guy like myself with the right people can jump up out of the plains of Texas and do a job that can be respected by all. I've chosen the name Permian because the, the definition of Permian is the last rock formation of the Paleozoic period which dates back over 280 million years. I wanted the name of the label to emulate stability has been there a long time and going to be here from now on. I guess all of us have a dream, you know, I guess all of us have a, have a goal that we hope to attain. I felt that I was at a point in my career where I fully intended to put my entire uh, energy and effort into it and I wanted to work with people who felt the same way. And lost the game with every love you've known. You vowed you'd never risk the pain. You save her on your own. And then love comes around again. Finds you like a long lost friend. Lifts you up the lights tonight. Changes from tonight. Love comes around, comes around again. Why be just around? Don't hide your heart when love comes around. 
Permian Records is its artists and its staff. Permian Records is people. I 